The US government wants to break up Facebook over concerns it's abusing its dominance in social media to crush smaller competitors. Federal and state regulators have sued the company, saying it's become a digital monopoly and should be ordered to sell off Instagram and WhatsApp, which have billions of users, of course. Well, New York's Attorney General, who is leading a coalition of 48 states suing Facebook, explained why they decided to take action. For nearly a decade, Facebook has used its dominance and monopoly power to crush smaller rivals and snuff out competition, all at the expense of everyday users. By using its vast troves of data and money, Facebook has squashed or hindered what the company perceived as potential threats. They've reduced choices for consumers. They stifled innovation, and they degraded privacy protections for millions of Americans. Well, let's speak now to Ron Knox, senior researcher at advocacy group, the Institute of Local Self-Reliance, and an expert on monopolies. Thanks so much for coming on the program. Sure, great to be here. Thanks. So pretty strong uh, words there that we, and certainly strong sentiment behind it that we heard just there. What was your reaction to that? Well, I think it's right. I mean, I think that's correct. And I think, um, you know, this is an important lawsuit and the allegations in the lawsuit are very, very serious. Um, there was a congressional investigation here uh, in the States that lasted about 18 months. The report from that investigation came out in October and it detailed uh, a lot of the same allegations that now appear in these lawsuits. And it, and it showed, you know, that Facebook is a monopoly, right? And um, when uh, it was... You know, uh, it's a, it's it a, just, just to clear that, it's a monopoly in what? Uh, social media. Thank you very much for asking. It's a, you know, it's a monopoly uh, in the social media market. And when it was faced with new competition from Instagram and from WhatsApp, it decided that that was a real concern. And it said it was worried about Instagram because of its innovation. It was worried about WhatsApp because of its large user base. And, and um, it said instead of competing uh, against these companies on the merits, uh, in the marketplace, we're just going to buy them. And it's exactly the kind of thing that our anti-monopoly laws are intended to prevent. So uh, I think it's an important lawsuit. I think it's the right time and against the right company. But there's Reddit, TikTok, Snapchat. That's right. There, you know, look, there are other products out there. Um, but there's nothing like Facebook. There's nothing even close to, you know, the size of Facebook, right? Half of all Americans over the age of 13 years old get on Facebook every single day. It's the way they connect with their family, with their friends, uh, and there's no other platform like that. Um, so, uh, you know, I think the allegations in the lawsuits make that very clear. And and I think uh, when it, you know, when it saw Instagram and WhatsApp, really similar kinds of connectivity, really similar kinds of, you know, user bases, um, uh, you know, it went after those with, again, with its money, with its power, uh, and it took them out of the market. And that's and that's the problem. Well, if that is the problem, why weren't those purchases blocked at the time? Well, for a couple of reasons. I mean, one, um, you know, it was it was a different FTC that was reviewing those deals at that time. So um, it's unclear, uh, you know, precisely why it made those decisions. But what was revealed in the lawsuits that were filed today was that uh, often Facebook was not, uh, you know, was not honest about what it planned to do with these companies. So, for example, Facebook uh, said that it was going to keep WhatsApp separate. It wasn't going to integrate its data in any way, and and uh, and that WhatsApp users had nothing to worry about. They wouldn't be in Facebook's database. What actually happened after, you know, that competition. Uh, you know, was crushed through the merger was that Facebook did exactly that. It integrated the data. Now, WhatsApp and Facebook have, you know, the same database, the same users. And, um, and you know, okay. that's not what Facebook uh, said it was going to do. OK, I just finally, because I'm afraid we're out of time, but I just do want to get your thoughts on this very, very briefly, if you can. Uh, lawsuits like this tend to spend a long time in the courts. They're very, very difficult. Chances of this actually being a success from the uh, attorney general's point of view? I think I think the chances are good. You know, these lawsuits rely um, on on the company's own internal documentation that showed this is what it intended to do, which was to kill competition. That can be very compelling for a federal court judge. I think the chances of success are high in this case. Okay, we will keep an eye on that. Uh, Ron Knox, thank you so much. Thanks.